Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Ari, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back like Jack. Y'all, it is 2024 and it is time. It's time to lock in, it's time to achieve the goals that we are setting, and it's time to elevate, okay? Happy New Year to everybody. It is January 1st, not the water bottle popping in the background. Um, It is January 2nd today, Um, and I'm back home. I haven't really been home in the last couple of weeks because of, you know, the holiday season is Christmas, it's New Year's, years hanukkah is everything okay so happy holidays to y'all hope y'all had a great ending to 2023 i know 2023 tried to take us all out but we still here we're still standing okay so yeah i had a really good christmas um in new year's time it was great it was amazing it was top tier the best moments ever of 2023 and probably of my life in the last few years honestly but we're here we're back i'm feeling a very rested very well motivated and inspired right now so i'm just gonna take advantage of this time and of the schedule that i knew I, the new schedule that i have in my life i'm gonna make it work and we're gonna get to it so today i wanted to make a little bit more of like a calm interactive helpful video so it's 2024 and i know a lot of people probably want to start over on second life they want to give it a try again you want to see if you can make a new avi whatever whatever so today i'm going to be making a new avatar with you guys so this is kind of like a tutorial slash just create an avatar with me so i will kind of give y'all some tips and help helping points but no promises on like a full-on tutorial okay but if you do need help on how to get started with second life i do have lots of videos on my channel specifically the ones on how to use the controls like how to walk how to fly how to chat in the chat box how to apply things to your avatar i will link those videos down below for you to already watch this is just more of like a 2024 updated video on how to create an avatar okay okay so let me stop rambling and let's just get into it right now well i just got back home yesterday y'all i was not home for new year's but i just got back home and i got on here and i was like you know what let me pay the rent because first of all we were about to be homeless but i'm in my husband's office right now because why not I miss him and he's not home right now. <laughs> he won't be home for a little while. So I'm just chilling up in here and I love it in here because he knows he's just such a good decorator to me. I like this type of style. But anyways, uh, I'm going to take you guys to a couple of stores and where I get things from. I'm going to continue using the same body that I've been using for like the last year, which is the E-Body Reborn body. That's the one I got on currently. And I have like different, um, what do you call it? I have different deformers on. So like a back deform deformer, a stomach deformer, just to help it get to the best shape that I'm looking for. Um, and I really love this avatar. So I'm not even sure if I'm 100% going to be changing, but I, I just want to try to create another avatar. Um, one for the sake of the video and two, just to see if there's anything I could do better. Cause y'all know I've been having this for a very, very long time. This skin came from models shout out to models love them down love 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 love, love y'all down okay greatest hair creators on the on the damn grid okay um but skin too i really need to see more skin from them because this skin has been in my it's just been on me for a very long time and y'all know i like to switch things up quite often but i'm rambling i'm talking i'm just chatting so i like to get my body from reborn ebody i will make sure to leave a link in the description box if y'all need it to get to the store um i can't really show y'all just because any body stores that i go to they're gonna be naked like body they're naked and i don't feel like editing over that i don't want to have to blur everything out and then i'm basically just like it's better off to just not show y'all my head that i have is brianna on head from laluca so we can go there lalutka okay it's a lot of people here as you can tell look at all the fluffy white clouds in here but we are at the laluca store and I think, what did, what did I say? I have the Brianna head on, or maybe I have Avalon on, because I think I changed head. I think, I thought. Nah, I got Brianna on, so. When you come to the LaLuca head store, it it doesn't really matter what kind of head you, you get, because you're gonna be like shaping it to your liking anyway. You're gonna be changing the skin anyways. I'm walking through people, my bad, my fault. It's loading, y'all. It's gonna be great for a minute, so I'm gonna let it load up, and then I will show y'all the different heads, okay? Okay, so this is what the LaLuca head store is going to look like when you arrive. 
um it's gonna have a whole bunch of heads different heads to try on you can just demo them if you want to look at them but for me personally i don't see too too much of a difference except when it's time to shape they have like a different type of maybe like eye shape or lip shape in a sense maybe even nose shape as well when you're shaping but at the end of the day you're this isn't like when you look at this the heads don't look at the skin color and like what the skin looks like because you're gonna be choosing a completely different skin all together anyway so i have this one i have brienne on oh i'm lagging a little bit it's mad people up in here so bear with me y'all but i have um brienne on i have avalon i have Rin. i have a couple of different heads from laluca but this one is the one that i use the most i use brienne on the most it's the most like ethnic if i'll be honest like that's just the truth um and it gets the features exactly kind of how i like it but i also love to use avalon secondly i don't even know where that one's at i'm kind of lagging up in here y'all so y'all got to bear with me please bear with me oh i like i have ceylon as well ceylon ceylon whatever you want to call it i have ceylon and brianna i like ceylon for like if you have like an asiany type of look that you're going for i don't i hope that doesn't sound crazy i'm just being honest now but it has like the features like the overlapped um or the hooded eyes looks really really good with this head and yeah anyways this is the store that i get my head from and i'll make sure to leave a link in the description but we will also go to genius because that's the only other head that i know okay y'all and this is the second head store that i do know of this was like my very first head when i first joined second life i used a genus baby head baby face head um which they'll be located over here you can try them on now the only reason i don't use genus anymore is because i say this with all respect but genus has more of a stiff face if that makes sense like a structure that doesn't really move too much versus laluca it's a little bit more animated what but when it comes to genus i think genus looks great for photos because you have like the control to make it look very very realistic and make it look really good but for like gameplay i love animated things i like animated hair body physics facial expressions and laluca just does that for me over genus but i definitely think genus heads are still absolutely amazing so i definitely still recommend you get it um my go-to ones is definitely baby face i can't tell which one is which because my wind lights are super bright so i can barely see let me turn it down here we go we can kind of see a little bit better um i had classic i don't really like classic but i like baby face number one or baby face number two these are like my go-to my go-to heads from genus um i think one of them might be free like strong i don't know they may not be free anymore but here is some genus little gifts from the christmas holidays and everything here is also for men got some men baby face strong face strange face you know whatever whatever um and yeah this is genus so definitely recommend coming here if you don't like animated facial expressions like laluca so yeah all right you guys so we're on marketplace currently because this is where i got my most recent skin from i already purchased the skin that i'm gonna use today but what i like to do is type in evo x and then the the color of the skin that i'm looking for so this is the skin that i bought for i bought it last year but i bought it for this video because i thought this was such a beautiful skin it looks so good in world but usually what i do is like i like to type in evo x because that's the head that i have and that i that i use but if you're using genus you can just type in genus and then type in the skin color or you can just type in genus if you don't know any skin colors um but makeup skins stuff like that will pop up you can even type in genus skin let's say let's just do like genus skin and lots of different skins will come up um you can also click on the skin stores i think one of my go-to recommended stores let's do my boy let's do chief because he has amazing skins for laluca and genus but you can go to skin stores in world as well i will link a few stores down below that i like to go to even though i don't even shop for skin anymore and i haven't literally in like six plus months if i'm being honest with y'all but i like born this is chief's store if y'all don't know who chief is make sure y'all go follow him on instagram so that y'all can stay up to date with his skin releases and anything that he releases for 
avatars or whatever but it'll have the name of the um skin color or skin tone or whatever 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 so this is molly i'm currently wearing a molly skin color right now where am i this one right now is a molly skin tone by models if like i said earlier i think this is molly skin tone so it's like a darker skin tone but it can be even darker with moonlight or amber and then if you want like a lighter skin tone there's like praline um there's so many different skin tones brownie chocolate so many you just have to kind of look i'm going i'm going to link link down below stores for skins they may be marketplace if they're a marketplace that means that they don't have an in-world but if they have an in-world i will link down their in-world okay 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 i'm back at the crib and i'm back in the office y'all look at this i didn't even realize that he had this on here and now i just feel so like i'm gonna cry because what that is the sweetest thing this is so cute i didn't even know he had this in his office but whatever whatever um anyways i'm going to show you guys what i like to do when i like to create a new avatar completely if i don't if i want to make sure i can come back to this what i will do is just save the entire avatar as an outfit so you have to right click and then go to edit my outfit and then right here where it says save as you can type in a whole new name i've already saved it so i'm not going to do it again but you type in a whole new name and press ok and then in your inventory it's going to be in your most recent outfits and this is the outfit so if you change to a whole new outfit you can just go back to it if you don't like it if you want to just stay what you were but what i like to do when starting to create an avatar i like to click here where's the avatars and it doesn't really matter which one you use of course my go-to is bitsy but today we are gonna go for i think we should go for somebody we ain't never been before let's go for let's go for this lady who is this i don't know who this is let's see carla we're gonna go for carla today she looks like a very nice librarian lady <laughs> or a teacher or a receptionist or something but usually what i like to do with carla or bitsy or whoever is take off everything that can be removed so all the alphas i'm gonna remove take off or whatever so right click and take them off let me cover this up because i don't want any of her body to be exposed but basically you just right click on everything and then press detach or take off so boom i'm gonna take everything off okay the only things that shouldn't be able to be taken off is like anything that looks like a little slice of bread or I don't even know what you want to call this, but it's basically a bomb effect. If you right click on it and it doesn't have like a take off or detach option, that's okay. Shapes can't be removed. Eyes can't re be removed and I, um, eyebrow shapes can't be removed. So she's naked right now. So I cannot show you what's going on under it, but. What you're gonna do is go into your inventory and find the body that you got. I uh, also think I left down below body stores in the description, so make sure y'all go check those out. But today I'm gonna be using Reborn eBody, so I'm gonna type in eBody, and it's already in my most recent outfit, so usually I just put it on from there, and then I will put the body on, and then I also put the HUD on, which is somewhere around here. Let me just use this. Here's the HUD for the body. So I put the body on and I put the hood on and then I also put on a head, which is also here in the most recent. So I don't even have to like go searching for it, but all you gotta do is type in whatever it is. So I'm gonna put on Brianna and I'm gonna use, um, yeah, Brianna. So I just put on the head, the eyes and the hood and also the teeth but i don't know if i got the teeth on in this one. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I put teeth on. So in the main, folder you're gonna want to apply one of these alphas i like to use this one which is the bomb head plus body apply your eyes it's gonna look like this in your actual leluca head folder so go to the one that's bomb head plus body and then the applier is the eyes so i add that one on so that my head oh not too much so that the head let me see if i can show y'all as you can tell the head is a little it's a lot better so you can actually see things or whatever but i'm gonna put some clothes on so she's not naked and y'all can see what's going on okay okay you guys i just put on this romper from dios i will get to clothing in a little bit but yeah i'm just coming back to this part 
clothes you can find any other time but the main places or the main things that you want to do or get to create your avatar is your head your body and your skin and then we will get into where to get clothes where to get hair where to get accessories and all that good stuff so i have the reborn body on and what you want to do is go into the hud and go to alpha and some things may already be alpha out so it was for me all you gotta do is press reset and now you can see the full body again i'm gonna pose her because i don't want her moving around while i'm trying to do stuff so really really quick y'all i'm gonna pose her let's see if this is a cute pose uh it's all right all right so she's gonna look crazy as you can tell it looks like her hair base is on her face or whatever yep 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 in my laluca hood you have the option to have the evo x or the classic laluca so if you want classic you have to use just a regular bomb skin. It doesn't, like, it can't say Evo X. The skin that you have to use when it says Evo X right here, it has to say Evo X on the skin as well. So the skin that I'm about to use is, where is it? I'm using Zara in Moonlight by CQ. I forgot the name of the store already. Classic. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm going to be using the no brow op option because I have my own eyebrows that I like to use. So all you have to do is right click and add it. I'm gonna also put on the ear color as well. So boom, we got the ears on. And this matches the Moonlight Body Applier from Velour. So I will make sure to leave that down below. But I'll just type in Velour because I already own it. And it's somewhere in here. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so I'm using the It Girl and Velour Body, um, what do you call it? Body thingy thing thing. So this is for the cleavage, but for the actual body, so I'm using Juicy because I like my avatar to look like she's a little plump, you know, because I'm not the skinniest girl in the world. So I like the little plumpness and I have to find the matching skin tone, which is Moonlight. So I'll just right click and add it and now it'll be applied to her body. Once again, I will be linking it down below so y'all can just go to the store and purchase it. Now it does look a little crazy because I haven't shaped it, but we'll get to it. But as you can tell, it does match her skin tone if you do need a neck fixer sometimes they'll include neck fi neck fixes in the folders but if not you can always just look up neck fixes on marketplace and you can find it there um i like the boob cleavage to look a little bit more crazy i don't want to say crazy but i just go to the juicy cleavage and of course choose the skin tone mine is moonlight um if you want it to be like hottie you can use that too but I don't know if y'all can see the difference a little bit. It's like a little bit of a difference. A little bit. Not too much, okay? Okay, so from here, I like to put on some eyebrows so that I can not look crazy. I did use the no brow option. I'm using some eyebrows from Nuvi or Nuvi, whatever. This store right here. Let me go to their actual store so you can see. This is the creator of the eyebrows that I'm using currently right now. I love these eyebrows because I can tint them whatever color I want them to be. And they just look good. I can shape them properly. But Nuve or Nuvi, however you really want to pronounce it. Once again, I will leave it down in the description box. Okay? Okay. So once I've applied pretty much everything that I want, like the skin and everything, um, sometimes I'll have like a hair. Like I'll put some hair on so she don't look bald while I'm trying to do her hair so i will put on like a hair base which is the one that i just had on we'll just put this one on this is from who is this from punk list there we go this is one of her newest hairs it looks a little crazy like the edges look like that because her head is not even shaped she's really tiny let's get to shaping so if you buy a shape you can just apply that shape and then edit off of that but for me i just go in and make my own shape so what you want to do is go to file go to create and then do new body parts and then press new shape and then you can type in the name of it so i want it to be like 24 i'm just gonna name it 2024 enter and then right click and aware and this is what she's gonna turn into right now you can do the same thing for brows but i'm just gonna use this one for some, I'm just going to use that. But it's the same process. You just go to file, create, body parts, and then you want to do hair instead of shape. Hair is basically how you do... I'll just do it. Okay. You just do hair, and then I'll type in eyebrow 2024, enter, and we'll wear that. And now her eyebrow is going to have a shape. But you have to edit it to your liking, okay? So I'm about to edit this shape to my liking so what i like to do is i'll turn around if i want like a certain background while i'm 
editing. So I'll right click and press edit shape. Same way for any other viewer that you use, just right click and press edit shape. So boom, she's looking a little crazy. She looking very crazy, huh? I like to go in with the body first before I even get into any other parts of her body. So I want her to be very thick. So I'm just gonna give her just a little bit of juiciness, okay? A little bit of juiciness, as you can tell. Um, and then I'll go to torso and edit the torso along with the legs. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and y'all can see what I do. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Okay, after I do the body to my liking, now it looks kind of crazy right now, but trust me, I'm gonna be using deformers to make it look even better. Um, after that, I like to go in with the head size. So I like her head to be the biggest, cause I like my avatar to be kind of like large, just to match like other people's. I tend to see like a lot of avatars be very, very tiny compared to like other people. And then it's just like tiny, but I like to make her head the biggest that it can be. And pretty much I just kind of play around with it until it looks how I like it to look. So bear with me as I edit this avatar head. Okay, okay. you guys so after you edit the head shape and all the good stuff that you want to do to it um i like to just press save and then this will be like a temporary because i will probably go in and edit even more especially after i apply my body um deformers so as you can tell i like when her back isn't so far out in her stomach as well so i use these um body deformers from pretty liars let me see where they are pretty liars um i use the back reduction at level three for reborn so i'll just add that and then it'll just reduce her back size a little bit more okay um same for flat belly if i want it to be a little bit more sucked in um and what else is that the only one I think those are the only two that I use, but as you can tell, it just makes it look a little bit better on the shape, just a little bit. And then of course, I like to use interactive stuff. So like kisser, booty spanker, booty rubber, whatever. I used to have ones for the thighs too, but I don't have them. So basically when you do this, where is that? Butt spanker, is it gonna do it? Boom, so when you do that, it just slaps and then boom. Yeah, that's what it looks like and so this is what she's looking like so far. So after that, what I like to do is right click and reset skeleton just to make sure everything is together. And as you can tell, her eyes look crazy because that's not how they originally look. So I'll go back in and press edit shape again and then I will go back in to edit even more. Okay, okay, so let's do that. <laughs> If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Okay so after a second time of going in and editing I do have a lip gloss on, so I'm going to take that off. But after that, I'll sometimes just play around with um, lip glosses and stuff just to make sure it's exactly what I like and what I want her to look like. So this is what I want her to look like when she has nothing on. I don't have no blush on her. Only thing I have on is her eyelashes, but yeah, that's what it does for that. And then I will go in with the eyebrow shape. So the eyebrow shape that I have on is this one that we made. So I'll just right click it and then press edit. And then you know, she'll turn so you can see her eyebrows. 
you go down to eyebrows and then you can play around with the size the density and everything so i want her eyebrows to be kind of big um and like like right here you can arch them if you don't want them to be so round change the points if you want her to look a little bit more meaner she can look like that like she got a stank face or if you want her to be like calm and soft that could be cute like this she's actually turning out to be so cute like what and i love the wide nose look like y'all i love this look and then i'll just press save and she'll look decent um i do have like a skin shine on from arena i have this regular body skin shine 3d materials i'll let, make sure to leave that link down below as well but pretty much I just right click and add this and then it'll pop up this and all you got to do is click on it and it'll apply the skin shine texture to the body. So yeah, you can also edit it in your um, reborn hood right here. So boom, you can make it more matte. She can look more ashier or more shinier if you want her to be shiny, shiny. But I like it kind of like in between like right here because it looks like skin to me. So okay now i'm just gonna add extra stuff that i like to add so i'll go to my previous outfits um obviously this is the one that i was using the only thing different that i'm really doing with this is changing the skin so instead of the other skin i'm using this one and this is what it's starting to look like so i'm gonna put on the blush that i like to use i like to use this blush from angelic um put on my septum piercing so as you can tell, septum piercing is way out here. That's because in my previous shape, her head was a little bit more longer. So I just have to move it and adjust it a little bit. But still looking real good, y'all. Looking real good, okay? Um, I think I want to have stud nose piercings. But for now, we'll just do this cuff that I've been using. But boom, all you got to do is push it back edit it up a little bit however you want it but that's kind of usually how i like her to look it looks really good um what else what else what else what else i like to get my um aos from vista animations i've been using the same one for the longest i know people have asked me which one it is it is the zoe full bento ao from vista animations um, I really did not know which one it was because y'all I have been having the same AO for years But all you have to do is press on and it'll be on I'm doing a pose right now So she's not doing anything, but boom I turn it off and now she's Just doing her own animation and then when I walk She'll do the walking animation, you know like this like that like this like that Um, but let's go back to the pose. What else? What else did I have on? I like to have on nails and a ring So I'm gonna turn I'm gonna put on this ring Put on the nails that I like to use and the earrings that I like to use. Um, and then I like to use the V HUD. It is basically a private area hood, but I like to put it on because you can edit like the butt shape or whatever. So I'm, I put the V on and then let me put on the actual HUD so y'all can see what I mean real quick. So if you ever see this HUD in my videos or anything, this is what that is. So you'll just click on it. And then it'll have like the boobs in the butt. So for the booty, I like to poke it out sometimes a little bit more. That is not poking out. That's pulling it in. Poke it out if you want it to be higher. You can make it higher if you want it to be lower. It can be lower. Just It's just kind of like a personal preference. I think that looks good for me right there. Yeah. And then you can just... I don't think you should detach it. Because I don't think it'll keep doing it if you detach. But boom and now her shape is coming together how i would like it to be she's starting to look very good y'all look at her and the eyes that i have i'm using these eyes let me see y'all because somebody i saw asked me a while back what eyeballs i was using i think they're called pretty eyes pretty eyes yeah pretty eyes 2.0 i think and they have it for Leluca and genus so if you have genus just add this and then it'll apply for genus heads but I have Laluca. Or no, I think I'm using Out of This World. They're by the same person. But you just right click, add, and then it's like an applier. And you just click it. And then it'll apply to the eye. So let me show y'all with the other one. So actually, let's just do this brown one. You just click and it'll apply. And then boom, there's your new eyes. But I like these ones better because they're more realistic. So I like these eyeballs. And... I like to tint them a little bit in the Laluca HUD. So I'll go to the HUD over here. 
and I'll go to the eyeballs or actually I'll go to HD and then no I'm lying I'll go here to this color drop and right here it'll say everything so you can go to eyes or eye socket so I'll check off eyes and then right here you can make the color darker lighter but I like to be a little bit more red because it kind of gives like a high effect or like a realistic eyeball effect. Okay, so that's why I like that. And yeah, now for clothes, y'all, I just be shopping anywhere. Most of the time I go to events. Um, I like to go to cake day, dream day, the grand event. Um, I like to go to equal 10. I like to go to level. I will make sure to leave these stores linked down below for you guys if you want to go to these events. Um, they're not always open, so you have to just make sure you check their websites and their Instagrams to see when they will be open. But I think currently right now, nothing is open. It's the 2nd of January. I don't think anything is open right now. I also love to shop the weekend sales, y'all. That's like my thing. I love shopping on the weekend for clothing items, for hair items, and for like accessories like tattoos, lip gloss. 60 linden sale is like the best for those things. 99 linden sales that only happen on Fridays. 50 weekend linden sale, 50 linden weekend sale, uh, weekday sales. Like it's, it's so many weekend sales. I will leave the link to the, um, like the webpage that shows everything down below. Listen, I done said that so many times in this video, the link to everything that I'm using and what I'm doing in this video is down in the description box. So please check the description box, okay? Okay, but this is basically how I create my avatar. Now, I think I'm gonna go in and edit the shape a little bit more, even though I done walked outside. I think I want her shoulders to be a little bit more wide and her arm length to be a little longer, maybe like that. And then I also want her body to be a little bit more thick. Okay, because we ain't skinny. Let's make it a little bit more thick. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, she thick. And then I'm going to save it. This is going to be my favorite. I mean, my final. So I'll just type in 2024. Press OK. And that's like the final shape for this avatar, I believe I want. And then you can just dress, dress her how you want to. Dress him how you want to. If you're creating a male avatar, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to choose a different outfit really quick because this one is not really showing everything that it could be okay 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 you guys so this is like a different outfit that i just put on um but you can see things a little bit more like the the boob cleavage you can see that a little bit better um i usually like to put on other overlays from different stores like i don't even know there's so many different stores i can link some down below lip glosses makeup eyeliner i like to put on so much different stuff from different stores but for the most part this is how you create an avatar in 2024 it's pretty much the same thing since the beginning of time probably maybe a little bit different with different items different bodies and whatnot but i like i said to you guys i left the link down in the, the description box for pretty much everywhere uh, let me edit the edges a little bit because they yeah that is pretty much how you create a new avatar as of 2024 I hope that this was helpful. Like I said, this was not really supposed to be a tutorial tutorial, but I got a tutorial since going on. So hopefully if you didn't know some things, now you know them. Um, hopefully it was helpful, but I just really wanted to create a new Avi here on camera with you guys and just chill and talk. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see new from me this year. I'm going to do my best, my best, my best, my best to get it all out there and done for you guys. I hope the video was helpful. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.